Hi, I'm Ashley Marie, and today we are making this s'mores cheese ball as part of our Star Wars birthday party series. This is covered in edible sand and has little chocolate sh imperial ships all over it, broken down from an old war, and this represents the planet... Jakku! <laughs> Let's get started. to create some edible sand. Now I've seen some people just use crumbs and that's great and I've seen some people just use brown sugar and that's also good but I like to use a mixture of a couple different things to create the sand. So, so I have six graham crackers. We're gonna start with that. Okay, so that is nice and sandy and now we're gonna add some Nilla wafers. I have 18 of them here. And what that's done is give us two different colors of crumbs. The Nella wafers have a darker outside, but a lighter inside. And the graham crackers are kind of that medium tone. So it's done a great job of getting it more of a depth and look. And now we're gonna take some brown sugar, tightly packed. This is a third of a cup. <laughs> and kind of break it up a little bit. Make sure that you don't have any super big chunks. Now your food processor, if it's strong enough, can break up those chunks, but it kind of sounds disturbing and always creeps me out. And we're done. As you can see, I let it run for quite a while. So we have a nice fine sand. And what the sugar does is it takes it from just being a dry crumble to kind of holding its shape a little bit better, sticking together a little bit more because of the dampness and the sugar. So to get started, we're gonna take this cream cheese that's softened. This is 16 ounces or two blocks and we're gonna beat it until it's smooth. And that is looking nice and smooth, and now we're gonna add the... Marshmallow fluff. <laughs> That's right, the marshmallow fluff. All right, oh, this stuff is so sticky. Ugh. It looks good too. It sure does. Now we're gonna add the salt and the vanilla. That is beautiful and smooth now, so we're gonna add the powdered sugar. I have some mini chocolate chips, and you have? Marshmallows. All right, let's pour them in. And just pulse it. Now I've taken this nice round bowl, and I've layered it with plastic wrap. And we're gonna take our filling, blop, and just plop it down in there. And you wanna bring your plastic wrap up. and gather it up at the corners. So you've pulled up the corners. You wanna kinda of twist it close. Put it back in your nice rounded bowl and stick it in the fridge to get hard. So I found this mold. It's actually for ice, but it's silicone, so it works for chocolate too. And this is for the uh, At-Ats and the Empire Cruisers. And so what we're gonna do is melt some white chocolate. Just add some black candy gel. Now you want to make sure it's the candy gel because this is oil based and so it won't make the chocolate seize. Now what do we do? And we pour it in these. Yep, we pour it inside the cavities. <laughs> then shake it. And we shake it. Like get jiggly. all the bubbles like out. Jiggly. Now you stick it in the fridge for an hour and then pop them out. So our cheese ball has sat overnight and it's a little bit firmer. And we have our edible sand here. Ready? Yes. Plop. Ploppity, plop, plop. This is about to get really messy. Ready? Ooh. All right, this is nice and covered in our edible sand. It's time to add our chocolate chips. What do you think? Should we put one right over here? Sure. You want to put it point down like that? She's like kind of like crushed. Just kind of like buried like that? Yeah. And we are done. This looks just like the Planet Jakku, don't you think? Yes. It was super simple to make. We're super excited about our party. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the other Star Wars recipe videos. This has been a really fun party to prep for, right? Yes. <laughs> now in the description box down below, there will be the full recipe and links to all of the other Star Wars food videos. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite Star Wars planet is. Now we're gonna try a little bit of our s'more cheese ball. You ready? Yes. Okay. You taste like some more? Mm. <laughs> I think we have a winner. All right. Thanks for watching.